This ABC 15 Flash Briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. All roads lead to Sanderson Ford. I'm Christine Stanwood with your top stories from ABC 15 Arizona. Eastbound I-10 now open at 40th Street after a tanker truck rolled over on the freeway. Hazmat crews were on scene after troopers say the tanker was carrying 1,000 gallons of fuel and was a support vehicle for a nearby construction site. Thankfully, no one was hurt. A neighborhood is in shock. Family and friends are grieving, and the question no one can answer is why did it happen? We're learning more about Molly Cash and her mother, Cindy Domini. The two victims killed at a holiday party near 2nd Avenue and Bethany Home Road Christmas Eve. Police say the suspect, David Donito, was found inside the home where he turned the gun on himself. We heard from one of Molly's co-workers. He described her as someone who cared more about her team than closing a deal. She also cared for her mother, Cindy, deeply. The two, were, two of them were huge Arizona sports fans. Another team agent's birthday was more important than the deal closing. It's not, it wasn't all about the money. It also had to do with a lot of the uh, clients that, that she touched. Um, she was very personable. The gunman is said to have been in a relationship with Molly. He was also the widower to former county attorney Alistair Adell, who died last year after health complications. Police say what led up to the incident is part of their ongoing investigation. ADOT will rebuild a bridge over I-10 and Wilcox that was damaged in a deadly truck crash back in May. Crews will begin work in January, so you want to expect some delays in that area. The project is expected to be completed by spring. ADOT is using nearly six million federal dollars to complete those repairs. Meanwhile, some good news when it comes to inflation in our state. The latest consumer price index showing the rate of inflation in Phoenix dropped 3.7 percent in August to 2.9 percent in October. Experts say the slowing growth was mainly due to falling energy prices, housing, food and transportation prices. The Michigan Supreme Court has rejected an attempt to remove former President Donald Trump from the 2024 ballot. The ruling is at odds with the recent ruling from the Colorado Supreme Court, which took Trump off its primary ballot because of his role in the January 6 Capitol riot. However, the Michigan Court of Appeals upheld a ruling saying state law doesn't give election officials any leeway to the police to police the eligibility of presidential primary candidates. The next step will likely be appeals to the U.S. Supreme Court. Our health insiders helping us take some stock of our well-being, especially as we head into the new year. So if you didn't get around to some of your 2023 health goals, don't worry, there is still some time for you. Dr. Lisa Lemond with the Mayo Clinic says, start the new year off right. Schedule checkups right now. It's also important to keep up to date with any screenings you might need, depending on your age, gender, and family history. Those include screenings for certain types of cancer, blood pressure, cholesterol, diabetes. It's also a great idea to make time for a general wellness checkup. They're going to do a full physical exam. They're going to check routine laboratory studies, and they're going to talk to you about your health care screenings. Mental health appointments are also so important, too. Scripps News' Christina Evans sharing expert advice to make sure your 2024 resolutions help more than hurt. You could have a little bit of a white Christmas, and I would... Uh, like the night before Christmas, we'd all do a walk around the block and a bunch of other family and friends would come out and then that would always be like the end of the night. Hanging out with, with family and friends, uh, eating at a dinner and uh, just spending time with family. That's the best, right? Yeah, the Arizona Coyotes sharing some of their favorite holiday traditions on ABC 15. They're back on the ice later today as they get ready to take on the Colorado Avalanche tonight at Mullet Arena. Puck drops at 7. Coverage starts at 6.30 on Arizona 61. With your most accurate forecast, and meteorologist Ashley DiMartino. A warm-up moving in and a slow warm-up as we head into our weekend. We'll start off again with temperatures in the 40s. Make our way to almost 60 degrees by noon. Upper 60s expected by mid-afternoon. And then after sunset, we are back into those 50s. Temperatures around the state will be warm even for the high country. We're running anywhere from about 2 to 5 degrees above where we should be for this time of year. With a high of 48 expected in Flagstaff tomorrow. 59 in Prescott. 68 in Bullhead City. 57 for you tomorrow 
Monroe and Payson and 45 in Shalom. The extended forecast puts our temperatures in the low 70s for our Friday and Saturday as we continue with those partly cloudy to mostly clear conditions. System coming through starting on Sunday will drop temperatures back into the 60s. Keep us nice and cool into the mid part of the week and bring a slight chance for showers starting on Sunday all the way through your Monday, the new year with overnights in the 40s. This ABC 15 flash briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. All roads lead to Sanderson Ford.